Hey guys, how you doing? Grandmaster Jerry Fastby Fontaine is here again. Okay, so now the question I was asked recently was about that fight with Billy Blanks. Man, let me tell you something. Fighting Billy Blanks was scary. I mean, th this guy was like a superhero. You know, I'm talking about big arms. You know, big arms. I got puny arms compared to that guy. And, um, Fast, elusive, wonderful footwork, and Billy Banks taught me how to blitz. I mean, this is a guy that I looked up to, you know, not only because he was taller than me, but because he was phenomenal. A reverse punch, holy smokes, man, this guy would hit you, and you would get hit here, and you're feeling the other side a few days after he felt it in your back. Incredible. So Billy Banks was the most fearsome fighter I ever competed against. And then in 1986, I was on the rampage. You know, Billy Blanks had got knocked out, you know, against Larry Kelly. You guys have seen that on YouTube. And, you know, I I was on the rampage because the day before I knocked out a guy named Hector Gomez. I believe it was. Um, and, you know, you knock somebody out, you go crazy. So, in the fight with Billy Blanks in 1986 in Madison Square Garden, the felt forum um, of the Budweiser Liberty Classic, I won the middleweight division by beating Reggie Tucson, Gus Lugo, um, the guy I just mentioned, I believe Hector Gomez, I believe that was something, um, and also Mafia Holloway for first place. Then I'm fighting against Billy Blanks, which in all actuality, they should have made me fight or had me fight somebody else because I was the middleweight champion. I was supposed to be the fight light heavyweight or light middleweight champion, but that's a whole other subject. You know, they, they, they never let me fight against the people that I was supposed to. They used to always throw Billy Banks and Matt Anderson at me, only the top two guys, you know, um, because I, I think that I, you know, being in New York and being a Latino, you know, I, was, I, was, I was stuck out like a thumb, and, and, and I wasn't going to negotiate and share the money like these guys were doing, you know, because that was one of the things that these guys used to do, share the money. So I figured, well, you kick my butt if you want to take the money. But anyway, um, so the most fearsome fighter I fought against was against Billy Blanks. Now, um, there's another video right there that seems like I, I beat Billy, which, you know, actuality, when I fought him in that match, you know, right before he, he hit me, which now, my teeth are crooked from that broken jaw. Um, right before he hit me, I stopped him with a sidekick in midair, and he didn't like that. You know, before that, he hit me with a reverse punch to my rib. And before that, he tried to hit me with a rear hand, rich hand, which that meant he was trying to take me out. And what I did was I counted my slipping and hit him with the rich hand. And that busted his mouth. Because they could have disqualified me for that. But I was just really being so big you know, and the superhero flag um, behind him. Not a flag, uh, a cape. You know, would have been embarrassing. But... You know, that wasn't the first time I fought Billy Blanks. The first time I fought him, I, I, I actually threw a kick at him, grabbed my leg, and I jumped up and threw a, a, a jump spinning hook. And, and, and he, he busted my nose pretty bad that time. You know? and, and both times, busted nose and, um, um, and broken jaw. He got points for that. You know? So that was just the game that we played. I was never mad at him. As a matter of fact, um, if you ever watched me in a lot of those videos in the early days, I had a blue top on the Stars and Stripe pants. And if you look closely, I fought with a Billy Blanks patch. He showed me how to blitz. He showed me how to increase the quality of my, my punching at the time. Um, he also helped me with uh, footwork by mimicking some of his things. And, and, he, and I, we literally, we meaning myself, and a guy named Ken Dola, Abdul Aziz today, and, and Tony Morrison, you know, Mew Potter, just real name, whatever. He, these guys, uh, and Dave Herbert, uh, you know, we, we actually slept in Billy Blanks' school. Yeah, slept in school, and, and we worked out all night. You know, it, it, this was back in like 1984, I want to say. And um, so props to Billy Blanks. Um, this is a guy who I seen sweep somebody with his leg, take them upside down and punch them. Like, you know, it was just crazy. You know, Billy could, could jump over people and kick them in the head. You know, the cartwheel kick was his famous, but he would take people sometimes, grab them, and scissor take down them. Oh, it was crazy stuff, man. So... To answer the question again, I, I said it a bunch of times, the most fearsome fighter I ever fought against 
was Billy Blanks. Bottom line. All right, guys. AD. You know what? Before I finish, I seen Billy throw a 360 spinning hook at somebody. Barely missed. And then land and do a jumping spinning hook and knock him out. Well, he knocked him into Crazyville. Because the next time I seen this dude, he had a samurai sword of the tournament. He was ready to chop people up. So Billy Blanks knocked people cuckoo. ABC.